So we want to make sure, like I said, when we are creating our grants that we're thinking about direct costs that are needed in order to create the grants and thinking about the breakdown. So when you're thinking about hours and weeks, such as $10 per hour, let's say you're getting an assistant that's gonna help you, they're gonna, you know, 40 hours a week, you know, this is gonna, how long it's gonna take me. Literally, you're breaking it down to the exact number so the granting organization knows exactly what you need. Now, travel. Everybody wants to travel. Everybody wants to travel for their work. You wanna make sure that your travel is justified in the work that you're making. And that it's important that you be at a particular location in order to make that work. I can't tell you how many times I've read a great application and they're like, oh, you know, I need to go to Paris to do this work. But the proposal has nothing to do with Paris, right? I wanna go to Paris too. And so the granting organization is not going to fund an application if the travel is not justified. Now you wanna be conservative in your figures, um, avoid rounding up numbers, you wanna be exact. So if it is $2,000.35 to get from one location to the other, you wanna make sure that you put that exact number and you wanna justify the numbers in your proposal. So like I said with travel, if you have to go to Paris, make sure that whatever you propose, it is justifiable that you be in, in that city in order for you to be able to make the work. So granting organizations are looking for that as well, those detailed nuances in terms of why is this important, why should this photographer be here, and, you know, and how is this money gonna allow them to take it to the next level.